The Amada Corporation created machines to serve us, but they evolved, becoming ever more human. Secretly given ego and emotion, these hollow children began to infiltrate every level of society. Just another step in the evolutionary chain. We have to work together. Somebody has to stop them. Let's go. I think traditionally um, storytelling has been sort of, uh, you know, kind of been split out into, like, say, cinematics and whatnot. But in, in the case of Binary Domain, he wants to kind of walk the middle ground where the drama and in the, in the themes that he wants to explore is essentially sort of dealt with within actual gameplay, like, say, via the, the, you know, the voice commands or the, the, the sort of the relationships that, uh, between the player character and the NPCs. Of course, as a game, you know, the whole the shooting part of the game needs to be really fun. So that, obviously, he's going to have to deliver at the end of the day. All the characters will have sort of like a base level of like behaviors um, and sort of patterns of like how they act and whatnot. But depending on how you interact with them, whether they may say you might betray them or they might betray you, or uh, they'll have actual cause and effects in the game progression. And so based on that, um, you can have some interesting emergent sort of uh, experiences uh, in the game. There are interactive elements utilizing the, the headset where you essentially kind of more or less engage in conversation. Like, you know, maybe there might have been some backstory uh, that you can explore with the NPCs that can essentially be done through the voice recognition system. They want to make sure that the AI can basically stand on its own so that it doesn't require babying, it doesn't require essentially babysitting. And for him personally, he hates playing games like that where you, know, you have nagging uh, AIs that need to be essentially babysat. So in terms of what they're delivering, in terms of gameplay, in the AI system, it will make sure that uh, the AI will function uh, independently and, and you know, obviously interactively with you within the game. I think one common sort of theme the undercurrent you know, on all the games that he's developed is that there's there's passion, that there's there's something um, there, that's you know passion at the core of the game, of the experience, um, whether it's driving like say Daytona or something, uh, or Yakuza. Uh, and in the case of specifically of binary domain, he wants to bring that sort of that passion in, into the game uh, in, in terms of the, the storytelling, the, the human themes in the game. So that's what a, a negotiate game is. You can tell that it, it, it's my game.